In this video, I will show you how to interpret and create violin plots. Violin plots are perhaps the best and most beautiful way to visualize a data distribution. They show a lot of important information about the data, and they're also just really nice to look at. A violin plot looks like this. Actually, there are many variants of a violin plot. This is just one example. You can see why they're called violin plots. They look a little bit like the body of a violin. These plots show several descriptive statistics that you already learned about, including the median and the interquartile range. Sometimes you'll also see the mean, and in some cases you will see dots or asterisks indicating extreme data values or outliers. To understand how to interpret a violin plot, imagine rotating this image and looking at it on its side as if it were a mountain landscape. This is literally the histogram of the data, just smoothed a bit to look nicer. Normally, you see histograms with this line on the x-axis and the height of the bars going up the y-axis, but now it's reversed and also mirrored across the other side to produce a violin plot. The thick line here indicates the interquartile range, so 50% of the data is contained between these two lines. One situation where violin plots are really insightful is when comparing multiple distributions. Here you can see two violin plots corresponding to two different distributions. Interestingly, the means and interquartile ranges are not very different between the two distributions, but the shapes of the distributions are really different. This one looks like a standard normal distribution, and this one has a distribution a bit like the income inequality example I showed in a previous video. So most of the data is clustered down here, and a small number of really large values are pulling the mean up. So here you see that the mean is higher than the median. In this distribution, the mean and the median are nearly identical because the distribution is the same shape on both sides. This is a great example of the importance of visualization because if you only had the means of the distribution, you might come to the incorrect conclusion that the distributions between these two data sets don't differ. And that's not really an accurate conclusion, which you can clearly see by examining these violin plots. Now let's look in MATLAB to see how violin plots are created. Here I'm generating a data distribution using something called a log normal distribution. This is a type of distribution that you'll learn about in the next section. Here I compute the histogram of the data. The function smooth is in the curve fitting toolbox. If you don't have that toolbox, you can just comment out this line. It's not necessary, it just applies a bit of smoothing. And in this line, I max value normalize the distribution. Here I compute the interquartile range which is the same as what you learned about in a previous video. To visualize the violin plot, I use the patch function, which you can use by specifying all the edge points around some polygonal shape, and then MATLAB will fill in those edges with a colored patch. The inputs might look a little bit confusing at first, but it makes sense if you think about drawing the points first up the left side and down the right side. So. Basically, we're going to specify all these points up here, and then we specify these points down here. And that's how the patch function works. Finally, I'm going to add a few pieces of additional information, including the mean, the median, and the interquartile range. You can see in this example that the mean is higher than the median because the distribution is smeared out going upwards, which for a histogram would mean going off to the right. In this video, I showed you how to interpret and create violin plots. Violin plots are a really great data visualization tool, both in terms of understanding the data set and in terms of just being visually appealing. If you're already comfortable with programming, then I encourage you to work with the code that I provided and make the plots look even nicer. But regardless of whether you write your own code or use programs like R or SPSS or SAS or MATLAB, you should consider using violin plots when showing and inspecting your data.